Welcome or welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today, I'm working on a little card for some happy mail, and I thought I would show you how I use rub-ons. Uh, rub-ons are fun, they're just like a sticker. Sometimes they come in these packs. This one's a Mrs. Grossman pack, so uh, these, I'm not sure if they're available for individual sale or not, but it was a subscription club that I was a part of for a while, and these came in there. They have a bunch of sentiments for doing cards, and it's just wonderful. Now they come, uh, almost like a sticker, but they're not. They're coming together with this like wax paper that, or tissue paper that kind of separates them. You want to make sure you keep that tissue paper there because uh, otherwise the image will just rub off um, onto anything that you put it next to. Um, so I'm making this cute little card here. I'm granting a wish on one of the groups I'm on and just wanted to send a little card with the items that I'm sending to her. So you can see I've cut out the pieces that I wanted and then you'll separate it from that tissue um, paper and just put it where you want it to go. And it's okay to use different fonts. Um, I really like that look actually. So m most of the rub-ons will come with this popsicle stick and you can definitely use that if you want to. I don't personally prefer to do that Sometimes I'll use the back of my scissors or I'll use this little tool on the back of this poking tool that I have. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and use today. So you want to make sure you um, hold this down where it's going to go. And then you're just going to use your little tool and rub. Until the letter is all the way on there. You'll apply a pretty good amount of pressure to get the letters off. Some brands are better than others. Um, sometimes price is a factor, sometimes not. Just play around with the different brands and see which one you like the best. Now you notice if I move that, um, you can see it's separating just a little bit, which means some of it is not all the way on there. Rub-ons can take some practice, and like I said, the brands sometimes will make a difference. So sometimes what I do is I just lift it up, and I'm good with that. Um, you, you can try to piece in those other little parts if you want to. I sometimes will just take a pen and fill it in, because it's really hard to match these up. But it can be done. Sometimes I'll hold the corner of the piece while I'm doing the rub-on, just in case I need to add those little pieces in. All right, now looks like I got it. So, um, I do Sometimes still just take a pen and fill in those extra details. Um, let's see. Yeah, so we'll just take this. Fill that in, give that a little extra there. All right, and that's it. So I hope you like this demo um, of how to use rub-ons and that you'll look for some rub-ons and give them a try. They definitely do, like I said, take a little practice and some are better than others, but um, let me know down in the comments below what your experience is and uh, if you found any that you really like. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you like this and I'll see you next time for the next video.